All right, YouTube, I am making my first video and it is gonna be reviewing the Milwaukee Fuel M12 Hacksaw. I just picked it up last week as I had to cut a seized bolt on my Jeep. Uh, it was the 3 8 inch track bar bolt and I went to use my grinder over there and it, it shut the back. So I told myself that I, that I needed one of these anyway. So I went and picked one up and got some blades. Got this uh, this metal blade. Got the whole pack actually. Has different kinds of blades. This blade worked very well. Um, but I'm making this review because I used one of these, the non-fuel version uh, a year or so ago. And this, I know this is like a four year old tool, um, but I just wanted to compare the difference between these two tools and also the battery, the batteries that you use really matters. I, um, when I used the, the non-fuel version of this Milwaukee Hacksaw, I used the 1.5 amp hour battery and this was at work and it did not feel like it was a Milwaukee standard tool. It, <laughs> I just, it was way underpowered. I wasn't even cutting anything heavy. I was cutting rope with it. Uh, so, and it was it was pretty thick rope. It was like about that that uh, thick and, um, but it wasn't like metal or anything. And I was using uh, I was using a wood blade for it. But correct me if I'm wrong. I actually I think I used metal blades too. I I didn't even know what to use. I was like trying to figure it out, but it wouldn't even cut through it. And then I used it a couple other times while I was working and this always, it felt um, very underpowered. And this is the, let's see if it'll focus. We got the serial number or the model number. Um, but yeah, this thing, I used it on my uh, 3 8 bolt to cut that off and it went, it worked perfectly. I was very impressed with this tool. I used, the, and the kit comes with the battery charger, the four amp hour battery, and the toll for 179, I believe it was, plus tax. And I, uh, I have a six amp hour battery already. I used that to, um, to cut that bolt because I knew that it was gonna be tough no matter what I was using. Um, but yeah, this thing worked very well. And for the price, I the price difference between the fuel and the non-fuel, you're almost stupid not just to get the fuel. I mean, unless you're not really using it and you're using it for things that don't require a lot of power um, or reciprocation. Um, I think the price difference is like 30 or 40 bucks between the kits. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but another thing is, if you haven't got the stubby and you work on cars, get it. It's awesome. Um, I might make a video on that someday because I loved it and it is it's probably the best tool I own, the tool I use the most. I only got it a couple, probably two months ago. Um, I've been working on getting a new tool since I don't, I don't use my grandfather's garage anymore and I have my own. So yeah, hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again.